difference between class and robotics is that a lot of times in class, you can really learn the theory about what's going on in engineering, especially in like computer engineering, you really learn how the computer works, you learn all this stuff in labs. A lot of times you don't get like the hands-on experience of what an engineering like job actually requires. A lot of engineering is, you know, trying and failing until you succeed in robotics and the building things like hands-on is really where you get a chance to test your, test your ideas, test your solutions, build them, see if they work, see if they fail. Usually they fail, you try again and succeed. And it's, this environment is just such a great place to learn that. This, this is a full stack system uh, in all regard. So a lot of times when you go to a classroom, so you'll be learning one specific problem, the, the professor kind of knows how to solve. In this case, we don't really know how to solve it. And we're involved with a lot of people who are a little different than us in terms of what they're an expert in. So me, as someone who does primarily electrical, uh, know that there's a lot of mechanical engineers who can solve problems that maybe electrical cannot. Uh, and this full level of integration between the sub teams is really what's super special about this because that's super tangible to the real world. Anytime you want to be making any sort of robotic system, or just any sort of engineering system in Java, you're gonna need that systems level integrations. And this is something that you really get with this. It's kind of like uh, the mimicry of a drone. The skills that you gain here at Duke Robotics are the hard skills, like the skill of failing and then building something back and learning from how you failed. Um, there's a lot of like filter design that you can learn here and like power management, how to design a full system. Because most, most classes are very specific and very theory based as well as if they do do hardware, it's one specific subset, right? In robotics, you get the full system. My favorite moments come from competition. Um, so that's a week long, uh, fully paid trip um, where we kind of really bond together as a team um, and fix up the robot. So that was definitely a really great team bonding experience. We have to use the camera to detect a buoy that we either have to hit or like we kind of circumvent around. Uh, we have to use our downward facing camera to detect like path markers, to detect the pictures of the bins. We have an acoustic subsystem on the robot that um, looks for an underwater pinger. So it listens to the underwater noise and then through that it filters out for a specific frequency of a signal and then with that, it's able to tell where the pinger is underwater, kind of like how we use our ears to tell where something is in a room. And so you learn a lot about like signal processing, powering the robot, sensors. I mean, I, I just love coming here for every single meeting. Um, it's, uh, it's just really um, fulfilling, especially when we do a test our robot at uh, the pool to see like the code that I've written actually run on the robot and make the robot execute complex maneuvers or respond to changes in its environment. To be able to really work on this robot with such a very close-knit group of friends and they were very rewarding. I've learned um, how to collaborate with an interdisciplinary team of engineers. We have all sorts of engineers with different areas of expertise and so I have to work with all of them um, to uh, develop a very coherent robot. So I would say when you come to Duke, like you know, as a prospective student, you really should look toward joining one of the engineering teams, especially if you're an, you're an engineer. I think it's so important to get like the hands-on physical building experience that you need to succeed as an engineer in real life and just to have fun with friends along the way.